Hello dear friends, welcome to Shiksha Mantra. In Shiksha Mantra, we have chosen a subject. And this subject is really very very important for our students and our subscribers to learn. Now obviously, you have looked at the board that's there and you know that the subject that we have chosen today is obviously regarding clauses. Yes, dear friends, why I have chosen clauses as my subject. So let me discuss it first. Actually, what happens when we ask our students to find out the types of clauses, they get confused. They get confused because of the linkers. Most of the times they consider the linkers very, very keenly and associate them with a particular clause. So whenever there is the clause, if you uh, consider when, if they find a clause with when, with the link of when, they consider that it's time as it's speaking of time. Obviously, this is adverbial clause or adverbial clauses of time. And this mistake they continue for a very long time and it's very difficult for them to get out of it. So today we are going to discuss how you can apply very common senses and how you can use some easy tricks to find out the clauses very easily. But you have to remember, dear friends, that the same linkers can be used in different clauses for different purposes. The linkers are not the only thing to find out the clauses. Rather, you have to use some tricks and you have to find out the clauses. So let's begin our discussion in details. So, here the linkers that we are going to discuss. But you have to remember that the linkers are useful but not everything. Linkers aren't everything. But your knowledge is essential. But your knowledge of what? Your knowledge of applying some common tricks and also your common senses to find out the proper clauses and that's we are going to learn here and the first of this is that yes dear friends whenever you get that in subordinate clauses you associate them with noun clauses so it's a very very common consideration if there's that it goes to be a noun clause but it's not true at all if you follow these three sentences the first one i know that he is honest obviously here that he is honest this subordinate clause is object to the verb no no is the verb and that he is honest it's the object for it so here you know very well that this is a noun clause and there is no problem in it we know that it's a noun clause. But what happens for the next sentence? I know the boy that stole the book. I know the boy that stole the book. So here you have to apply your knowledge of clauses. How it is? Just first find out the subordinate clause with the link of that stole the book. So this is the subordinate clause where that is the linker. Now the question is what that that is referring to. So this is your consideration. You have to find out what is referred with that. I know whom the boy show here no is the verb and the boy this is the object. And that it actually relates to this object that means the noun boy. So there's a detail has been supplied regarding the boy. Who is the boy? What he is doing? Uh, 
particularization a description of the boy that's why here it's qualifying the boy and it's an adjective clause though the linker is that the same linker with which we got the noun clause in the first sentence now so it's uh, it's possible that uh, we may form noun clause or relative clause with that but what's about adverb clauses and the adverb clause is also there right before you just read it we read that we can le learn we read that we can learn so here we read read is the verb read what that we can learn if you uh, take the sense as we read what we read that we can learn so what we can't learn we want to read them that would be the change of sense if here this particular clause is noun clause but but that's not the sense the sense is different the sense is what we read for a purpose and what's that purpose the purpose is that we can learn so this is modifying the verb read for purpose and it's an adverbial clause and you know it we call it adverbial clauses of purpose so the same that is used to form three different clauses you have to apply the trick and we are going to discuss the trick in our next part first uh, let me introduce you properly what we are going to learn here and after that would we'll learn the trick so here we are using where another linker which uh, mostly get associated with it gets associated mostly with adverbial clauses because where that means it's related to place i know where he lives now so i know this is the verb and that's the trick dear friend you have to catch the verb if you catch the verb you would get everything you know how to find out the object of a sentence how to find out the adjectives and how to find out the adverbs if you haven't learned them yet i have a detailed discussion on it and i have put the links in the i button above from there you can check them and you can very easily learn how to do it but the trick is catch the verb and when you catch the verb and ask the verb what will get the answer where he lives now so it's being used as a noun that's why it's a noun clause but why it's a noun because it's used as an object of the verb no so where he lives now this clause is being used as a noun as the object of a verb that's why it's a noun clause and for the second sentence i know the place where he lives now look the same sentence only the place this noun is added here after the verb and where he lives now it's qualifying the place which place where he lives now that's why it's qualifying a noun and it's an adjective and being an adjective obviously it's an adjective clause or a relative clause that's qualifying the noun place and with where we get a relative clause now what's about the adverbial clauses it's very simple and you know it we shall go where he lives so here the trick is catch the verb and where he lives obviously it's qualifying the verb the verb go so as it's qualifying the verb and it's speaking of a place so it's adverbial clause and obviously it's adverbial clauses of place so that's the very simple trick but uh, we have to proceed our discussion further with some more examples so that you can understand it better and this time we have chosen when or the time yes dear friend i know where why no there's some mistake i know it must be i know when he will come back i know when he will come back so here i know when when is added here that means it's speaking of time 
but the fact is which you have to understand the verb i have told you that the trick is catch the verb so here we have caught the verb and that's no so no is the verb no what look no what i'm asking the verb with the question what and with what the verb is answering this clause when he will come back that means this is a noun clause it's used as an object for the verb no so with when we got a noun clause now set to the second sentence i know the time when he will come back look i know the time the same sentence but the time and noun is added here you'd find the same structure everywhere so when he will come back this subordinate clause is actually qualifying the noun the time and as the clause is qualifying a noun it's obviously an adjective clause now what happens for the third sentence i shall go when he comes we shall go verb we shall go what you won't have an answer but we shall go when and the answer is this subordinate clause when he comes that's why it's speaking of time and as it's speaking of time it's obviously an adverbial clause modifying the verb go so it's adverbial clauses of time so i think uh, now you have understood what's the trick that i was talking about and what's the common sense that you have to apply it's it's a very simple thing and it's all about some common sense and very easy way of approach don't approach your grammar tasks with some difficulties you create your difficulties in your mind yes dear friends the difficulties are actually created by you these aren't difficult you make them difficult so with your problem they get problematic so use these simple tricks and the trick is obviously catch the verb in several other discussions i have shown you how the verb if you can catch the verb and if you can ask the verb if you can interrogate the verb just like a polish the verb would answer you everything every grammatical aspects would be found out by only interrogating the verb that's the very simple trick we are applying here with our common sense and here we have who another very tricky thing so with who if we uh, look at the sentence do you know who did it do you know who did it now again the verb no do you know what who did it so you get this subordinate clause as an answer as the object of the verb no so it's obviously a noun clause so with who we get the noun clause most of the time whenever we get a relative clause we use who that's why mentally we associate who with relative clauses and whenever there's who in a sentence our dear children our dear students our dear subscribers you consider it as a relative clause first so don't go after the linkers go after the sense go after the grammatical aspects of the clause as you know a clause means nothing a clause is actually equal to parts of speech this is the most most important thing that you have to remember you have to consider clauses in terms of parts of speech if you don't consider them as parts of speech you are going to mistake so what's for the second sentence do you know the boy who did it again the boy a noun is being attached to it and we get it as a description for the noun so this is obviously an adjective and the clause is adjective clause or relative clause that's qualifying the noun boy so every time you get who 
or some relative pronouns obviously they are going to be placed right after the antecedent noun they are qualifying so this is another trick that you have to remember and you are going to flourish in everything in whatever you have been asked regarding the clauses but most of the times our students they don't focus they don't focus on what they have right in front of them but after following this discussion properly i'm sure you are going to find out clauses and their types very much easily and more than that you are going to find out clauses easily with the types and don't forget the trick that you have to catch the verb and you have to find out why it is so you have to find out the logic by applying common sense and only by 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 learning these simple tricks you can be a master of clauses that's it for today we are returning very soon with another very fresh discussion still then stay with us and don't don't forget to hit the subscribe button with bell icon being pressed hugely so we are returning soon till then bye bye happy learning